guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jeannie. Anyway, today I'm doing a Marshall's Hall, Marshall's Hall, Marshall's Hall. Anyways, to start off with, I got, I go to Marshall's a lot. I live in a small town now. There's nothing here but Walmart. Um, Walmart. Um, like the Sally Beauties, but there is no makeup store really here. Like there's no Sephora and there's no um, Ulta or anything like that. For that kind of stuff, I'll have to drive like an hour away from here, which I'm not gonna do. So I have discovered Marshalls. Anyway, I got quite a few things from there, so I just wanted to come on camera and do a haul. Now, this is just going to be a haul and testing out stuff. I'm not actually probably going to wear any makeup or, I don't know, just test it out. But we shall see. Okay. First off, get those off. First off, this little scarf thing that I'm wearing, I bought. I couldn't wait. I opened it because I need this. I got and it was, let me see. I'm like digging for the box. It's this plush bow headband. And it's by Dabney Lee. It's actually pretty comfortable. Um, it's a spa headband. But, you know, we use it to keep the hair about the way. Even if I wasn't, like, doing makeup or whatever, which today I'm probably not. I just like to have these on because they're comfy and they push hair out of my face. So that's that. And I only paid three bucks moving on now this next thing when I saw it um, I was really excited because you guys see this this is very attainable and unmanageable not only know a lot of products and I always had heard of this brand but I never you know knew where to find it and at the time it was kind of out of my price range but now um, I found it at Marshalls and I've actually tried this yesterday this I actually bought yesterday some stuff I bought today and some stuff I bought yesterday because I went two days in a row <laughs> I have a problem um, but it's this Carol's Daughter um, Green Supreme Strength and Length Care Cream Leave-In Tonic and it says it restores weak and undernourished hair. It adds nourishing strength and creates resilient strength. And it restores help to a healthy looking shine. It has matcha, coconut, and mazinga. You know, parabens, petroleum, no mineral oil, or artificial colors. Now, I sprayed this in my hair yesterday. My hair was so crunchy and just disgusting yesterday. When I tell you that this stuff works, it works. Like, my hair, as soon as I sprayed it on there yesterday and I massaged it in, my hair, my curls went back to being soft. And I didn't even use any more today. And they are still soft from yesterday. So, and, you know, it added that shine back. I do actually need to do something else except this with my hair, which I will probably style it and... I don't know, do a twist out or something, but this product is good, and I, I have a feeling it's going to be a staple in my hair routine. Moving on, the next thing that I got was, um, I'm being in love with Shea Moisture lately, because I'm uh, really noticing how with my texture hair, curly hair, it actually works the way that it says it's going to work because um i have um i've well i've shown this on my facebook and stuff before when i've gone live and stuff but never on youtube but i've had this sham moisture peach rose oil complex nourish silk and hold mist with date palm and camellia extracts for shiny hold for dry brittle hair and this is sulfate feet and color free now this one i did not just right i actually did get it from the same store when i first came to town which was like or came to this town which was like in november um but even just from this 
uh, this being my first experience with like Shea products, this stuff. So when I say that I love this stuff right here, I love this stuff right here. I use it every single day. I'm surprised it has as much left in there as it does. This is already a staple in my hair care routine. Um, and then I also already have this one, which is the same company sham moisture, the bamboo extract and matcha root Brazilian strength root stimulate stimulator uh, with red clover and flaxseed oil to invigorate and nourish wavy curly hair. And again, same thing, this works. So because I had those good experiences with those two products. I'm for Shea Moisture and hopefully, um, so I decided to, um, since I haven't really did any major shopping back at the store or anywhere for Shea Moisture, I saw this yesterday and so I picked it up. This is, and because I do do wash and goes a lot and it was in the title, so hey, why not? Let's try it. It's the Shea Moisture Coconut Custard Make It Last Wash and Go Conditioner with coconut butter and plant peptides to hydrate and soften kinky curly coily hair. Kinky coily coily, but yeah. Next time I do a, let's see if we can focus. Next time I do a wash and go, I'll be using this guy. Cause it seems like it's gonna, you know, work it on out. Sometimes you need it to work it on out. Okay, so next, we have another Shea Moisture project that pop. Oh, well, we have another Shea Moisture product that I picked up, which is this Sacha Inchi Oil Omega 369 Rescue and Repair Curl Defining Smoothie with quinoa and rose of Jericho extracts. Rose of Jericho. So, like, that must be serious. Sounds serious. For damage and distress here, my hair is definitely damaged and distressed. So this, um, when I actually like wash my hair, wash my hair, not when I'm like doing the wash and go for this, but when I actually am washing my hair, which will probably be very soon, because it's looking kind of crazy. Uh, I'll give this stuff a try and then you'll know what I feel about it. Moving on, um, I got some, well since we're talking about Shan Moisture, I might as well talk about this because this is the same company, it's just not for hairs for skin, and um, I've been like seeing a lot of vegan things, um, I haven't really researched into vegan anything, so I'm not like goo 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 crazy for it, I just like to try things, and especially like skincare, and stuff like that but this is a African black soap vegan dry skin salve with tamarind and tea tree oil it is to relieve and soften dry rough skin and it looks like this and it's just a little thing then you open it and it looks like that now when I got this yesterday because this is something that I picked up yesterday but from it's still you know Marshall so Marshall's all the only person that I have access to that has really dry skin is my husband. So because his skin is the way it is, what are you doing? I'm not lying. That's my husband. <laughs> well, there he is. He wanted to be on camera. Uh, since he's got the driest skin of everybody, like anybody I can get to right now that I know, um, I decided to test this on him, and then I did put a little on my own skin, so, all I can say is, like, I'm going to try it out, I already don't like, like, here, let me show you, I'm just going to take a tiny bit on my finger, and then I just do one of these right here. I don't like that is so, um, like even wrote it in, it just is giving me like petroleum jelly Vaseline feels 
and I hate uh, Vaseline. I, when I was growing up, like, had to use it because my skin is so sensitive that, like, I just have to watch what I put. So, like, even in my hair, my mom used to put um, bergamot in it, and it would irritate my scalp to the point, like, I would just scratch at my head all day until my scalp was bleeding. So, excuse me, for that reason, when I got to be an adult, um, I just started using, like, oil, straight oil and grease and oil in my scalp or like petroleum jelly. Now for my hair, that's fine, but on my skin, ugh, like it gives me the willies. Like I feel need to wipe this off because it's like, I hate the feel of it on my skin. So for that reason, like I want to give it a fair shot, but I have a feeling like this is either A, going back to the store, or this is just going to be something that I sit in my car for desperation. Like, if I don't have a lotion or something, or I need to get to something quickly, that, yeah. But nine times out of ten, because you see how I'm reacting now, like, this is probably going back to the store. And it was really good still, because um, I checked into all the prices of everything that I bought at Marshall's, and I know, like, it is actually more money than what I actually spent at Marshall's so this I only pay like four dollars for it. it was $3.99 when it's like I believe eight um real time but I just I don't know I have a feeling like I'm just gonna go switch this for something else because it's really I just can't stand the way it feels on my skin and like where I have that tendency to want to keep things I have a feeling this is not about to be one of those things because it's just uh, so next on the list is um, another skin care, but I like more skin care, skin care. Um, some hyaluronic acid for uh, daily face serum. And it says an absolute miracle molecule of hyaluronic acid holds up to a thousand times its weight in water to hydrate and moisturize skin without any weight or greasiness. So, found naturally in mushrooms and avocados, vitamin B5 helps moisturize so that new skin layers feel softer and more supple. So, that down with. Let's see. I'm just going to put it on my arm. Let's see how it feels. I just put a tiny bit and rub it. See, that's not that bad. Mm. and it smells really nice so yeah this definitely um, I will be doing with my uh, face you know my skincare routine I actually need to go back and get a face I have picked one up today and then got home and it wasn't in the bag so I have to go back and get it but it uh, was from the same Shea Moisture Cream. It actually looks exactly like this, except it was Space Scrub. So now, because I know, like, I don't actually want this, I probably will get a different face scrub too. But I will just mix that and with my, you know, do my face scrub, which exfoliates the face, and then put the hyaluronic acid on, you know, afterwards as a moisturizer. Followed by. Um, my next item that I bought, which is this collagen, I don't know if you can see that, let's see, collagen morning glow serum, and it says rejuvenate, this collagen serum aids in firming skin and reducing the appearance of fine lines uplift throughout the day, um, actually, we had seen yesterday, when I went yesterday, we had seen collagen but it was like in an injection needle type of situation and my husband was freaking out because I was like I really want to buy this but I was trying to check and make sure that I didn't like need to inject it in my face because like I don't know what the hell I'm doing like my dumb self would buy something like that and then be like oh inject this in my face but I'm not going to do myself and so he was freaking out because he knows I'm like that so he was like Jeannie you're gonna like you don't know what you're doing and we're gonna end up at the emergency room and just know but then I end up you know reading it further because it's not something that you can like open 
in the store. So when I read it, upon further investigation, it was actually just collagen that you, um, the tip, it wasn't a needle. It was like this rub, like a rubber thing where you rub it into your fine lines. So I was going to go back and get her today, but she wasn't there. She was gone. So when I found this, I was like, okay, this is even better because then I can just, you know, do the face scrub aspect and then put the hyaluronic acid on and then I can put this on or even I was thinking maybe like put a few drops on my face with my, um, this stuff that I use uh, to make it myself glow, which is right here. It is, where are you? I've still got it Um, actually like mix it, put this one first and then put this with my foundation when I do my makeup like that kind of situation. So either or, we'll see. But I do plan on using this probably very, very soon. And I just love the dropper and it smells good. Actually, you know what? My face is clean, you guys. I washed it, so we'll try it now without makeup. Uh, let's see. I heard people like first started dropping, doing droppers, and I thought it was so stupid. But now, I don't know. It does feel good. I will say that. And I have nothing on my face. Like, this is just natural right here. This glow. It was kind of funny because usually, like, when people tell me that, I'd be like, Oh, stop. You're being just extra dramatic. I don't look like I'm going back. I see on camera. Like, I literally look like I'm going and I have nothing on my face. So, moving on to the fun stuff. The makeup. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to get this guy out of the way because he's definitely going back to the store. Which is this absolute New York double trouble, jumbo duel ended liner. I wanted to start, you know, doing more dramatic eye makeup with like dramatic wings. And so I uh, wanted to get a liner and I thought, okay, let me get a pencil liner because that might be easier to do than trying to do it out of the bottle with like a liquid liner. But then when I saw this at the store, I actually like was like, Bit. Like my husband was with me, I was like, I think I have this at home, and I think it doesn't work, or it's like at least one that looks like this. So maybe this is not that one. And then I get home, and what do I find? That yes, I do have this already, and this is trash. Like I don't talk a lot of crap about makeup, but like I don't like the way that comes out, and it like will come out like that on my skin. And here's the the deeper tip because there's two tips there's a thick one and then there's a thinner one and I use both sides so like this is the thick side that one was from the thinner one this is from the thick and like it's coming out like that now but when I actually went to go put it on my eye the last time I tried to use this it comes it just comes out all like sketchy and no so I know I'm taking this back <laughs> so that's out um, and so for my next product, I got Nicole Miller New York Mascara and Glamour Eye Duo. Now, I opened this in the store. I'm actually going to try the mascara because I didn't put this stuff on my face in the store. And my husband kind of, when I was swatching like lipsticks and stuff, he was getting agitated, which he's a man. So it kind of like was like, dang, like. I know, like, at some places I feel that way, like, like Sephora or whatever, like, don't put the makeup on your face. And that's just because I know they let, they actually let you test stuff on your face. I was, like, swatching on my hand, on the back of my hand, like, here, which is, was clean and was clean in store. But my husband, he was like, that is so disgusting. Like, if, like, 80 women do this in a day, like, A, you know, it's swatching up the makeup. So it's going to go, the, it's going to be less makeup in there when somebody actually does buy it or, or B, like, you could catch something because, like, it's been swatched on their right skin. So, for that reason, like, 
I don't know, it's just something that he made me think about in the store, but am I going to stop swatching? No, because <laughs> uh, I need to know what stuff looks like on my skin before I take it home. Uh, especially when it's like a bargain store like that anyway. Mm -mm. I'm not going to buy it if I don't know what it's going to look like. And I feel like my hand, say this person thing, like I don't have any diseases or anything, but like... I could see how, like, if you put it on your mouth, like, yeah, nobody wants to buy that. You basically used it. So, but, like, as far as swatching on my hands, cool with that. Thumbs up. So, what's in this um, packet, it came with a, it looks like this. It's purple. has a rose. Cutie, cutie. Um, it comes with a liner and a mascara. So, the liner looks like this. It says matte black so let's see I'm gonna put it right next to this one I hate eh, not bad it's that one that one right there so it's not bad and I'm gonna try it out and then the mascara let's see it's Ultra Black Mascara. I like this packaging, if nothing else. I'm really funny about mascara. Like, I've hated every mascara I've ever tried except um, this one, the Falsies Push Up Drama Lash from Maybelline. I love this stuff. And then the other one that I absolutely love, which is in my car, I keep that one in my car, um, is the, I want to say, uh, the the L'Oreal one that is, it's either L'Oreal or CoverGirl, I can't remember, but it's a knockoff of uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex. And I love it. Like, love it, love it. So we're going to see what this guy does. I curled my lashes this morning, so I shouldn't need to do any curling. Let's see. You know, it's not awful. I will say that. It takes them off the tan. I always like to like take a lot off because it'd be a lot. And do this on. I don't do this the most. It's hardball, so I might have a fair shot. I mean, yeah. Give it a little bit of color, so I don't hate it. So you need to stay. Yay. Alright. And so next, whoa. Husband, like, always called me a bull in a china shop, and it's ever true. Next is palettes. Um, I got which I'm still trying to debate if I'm going to take this back, but I think I'm leaning more towards keeping it because I like some of the colors that's in there. And I actually got this when I went to my food yesterday, but. Um, I forgot to take it back with me when I went today, and plus I just wanted to see if they had another one because what happened was he, when I purchased it yesterday, he put it in the bag, and I had bought a whole bunch of other stuff, so when he put it in the bag, he put it in the bottom, it was a guy, he put it in the bottom of the bag, so by the time I got it home, it was this monstrosity right here, it's all cracked and broken, so I can't really put it on the camera, but... I loved, I'm going to keep the cover on because I don't want makeup all over my thing. And even the like top part right here is broken. But the colors, like, it's because they don't have this there and I don't want to wait for it and I really want to play with this. And I just, I love these colors. I think she's going to stay and I'm just going to have to be like extra careful with her because I really wanted to get 
into that guy right there, that that guy right there, this guy right here, and that green right there. I really, 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 and I think like that has shades in there that I could do like every day. And this is called the Supernatural Eyeshadow Cap Palette from Models Own. Like it looks like that when you take it out of the box. The box looks like this, but it looks like this when you take it out of the box. And it's just so sleek, and I like, you know, white textured things and just it's just pretty and I want it and I like the colors that are in there and I'll keep it but I'll read you the colors uh, paranormal mystery celestial spiritual mythical mystic eternal phantom curse and phenomenon and of course the green color that I want to play with is called celestial and that purple is called paranormal and the, the cursed one is the other one that I said I wanted to play with. So I guess we shall, we shall see how she pans out. And then palettes. I got this. BH Cosmetics Marvy Corn by Marvin Magnificent. I don't know who's Marvin the Magnificent. I opened this palette and at that point I wasn't giving a crap who Marvin the Magnificent is. I know he magnificently picked some colors that I like. So I don't know who you are, but thanks, dude, because these colors are gorgeous and I love them. Um, especially like I laugh every time I look at this shade because it's green and it's called Moana. And I know I'm an adult, but I love that movie. So I'm I'm here for it. Um, then they have this pink right here that is Tongue Pop, this brown Savage. This is, um, I believe, black, and it's Breakdown. Then there's Spray Tan. And then up here, they have some shimmer shades. Um, this one in the corner is called Fodler. This one, this is really pretty. I want to get into that. Ooh, you know what? Got a swatch. I'm surprised I didn't like do this yesterday. So this one, that muddy is called muddy, and she ain't muddy. <laughs> She's pretty. And then they have this orange shade, um, honey boo boo, and over here, uh, K bye, which is this one, and this purple one is called Bahamas. And then I think these three in the middle are more like highlighters, but they will be going on my eyes. Um, this heart right here with this blinding gold is called Sheesh. And then in the middle, Living the Life. And then this one, 8,000. So I think I'm going to swatch all three of those, actually, because they all look good. But like I said, those will probably, for me, be highlighter shades. So there's 8,000. I'm horrible at doing swatches, guys. That's 8,000. Can you see that? Can you see? You know what? I'm going to try it on my hand. Just on my hand. Okay. Instead of doing all that. That is... That is 8,000 right here. It glows. It really glows a lot. 8,000. I swear I'm going to get better off swatching. All right. This guy. Let's do Living the Life. Um, Living the Life is right here. That's living the life. Oh, that's so sparkly. Yes, I'm definitely on it. And then let's see about sheesh. Sheesh. Okay, sheesh. And that's sheesh. Yeah, those are definitely going to be highlight colors for me. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Let me see. 
I'm already looking like I'm going. Let's see. Let's get a brush going. Let's get a brush going. Brush going. I think I like vowel better. Which is sh sheesh. So let's see how sheesh is on the skin. It's really sheer, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? What? Come through sheesh. Okay. Sheesh. She's just not playing no games in these streets. Let's try that tie. Oh my god. Yes. That's a yes from me. That's a yes from me. The feeling myself dance. So yeah, that's all that guy. Marv corn. Marvy corn. Oh my god. It's not that close. And to highlight your glow. I've seen this before and I always walk past it because I was like I don't think, I don't know, like something about this because of the brand, like the brand that represents it. I thought I wasn't going to like it. I did used to like this water, I'm not going to lie. And I I couldn't resist anymore because um, I did want to try Even though like I didn't have much faith in it, I do want to try it. And so what I'm talking about is the Evian Mineral uh, Water Facial Spray. I've been wanting to try this stuff forever. I just, like I said, I didn't have faith that it would maybe be good. I thought they just put some heavy on wire in the front and they're trying to trick me. But I sprayed this store yesterday. It actually doesn't really too much have a smell. Water, I guess. And we will see when I have actual makeup on how it sprays. But it just feels good on the face anyway. So you go like this. I like that. So good. And it just smells good. It actually smells just like the water, which is weird because water generally doesn't have a smell, but it smells really good and it really makes your face feel fresh. So I just can't wait to see what this is going to feel like when I actually have done my makeup because I have, well, you guys may know, I think you know, that I've just been using the Too Faced Festival Refresh Spray and I love this spray. I love this spray because it smells yummy. Like, I love anything Too Faced because Too Faced is yum. Like, when you think of Too Faced, you just think yum. Just eat it up. And I love that my face smells like food. And that I just, the only bad part about it is because, it's like because your face smells like food, like you like crave sweets all day. Like I've noticed when I wear anything Too Faced where I can smell it, where it has like a real, real deep smooth food smell. Because all of them are not like that. But most of them, yeah, like you be craving some sweets. Or it just makes you like have that feeling that like you just want to stay far away from sweets as possible because it's done sick in your stomach because you smell so much like sweets so next on the list is this tahari matte magnificent um, matte lip collection it came in a collection of four um, the real price for these um, I believe is $25 if you buy them just not from the uh, Marshalls that I went to but at Marshalls I paid $5.99 
So I basically got four of what uh, four liners for what I would have paid for one. Um, so that's always a good deal for me, and I love uh, liquid liquid lipsticks. And um, because let's just be honest, I'm married, and when I wear makeup with my husband. I mean, he, he's supposed to be affectionate, so he's very affectionate, and he likes to kiss on me, and I would like that when my makeup is still on my face after he kisses on me. So, anything that I'm a fan of, and he's a fan of. So, basically, what we got is these four shades. It looks like this. And so, I'm going to take them out, and I'm going to switch. I promise I'll do better than the eyeshadow. So... The first shade, let's get them out. I'll get them all out first. The first shade is called, let's see, do they even have shade names? I'm so blind. Mulberry is the shade. And I'll swatch her. I'm going to do this hand. Mulberry. I'm trying to do it neatly, guys, because I'm doing it with my left hand and I'm right-handed. So, Tahari, that's what she looks like. She's gorge. Uh, and, or, sorry, Mulberry, that's what Mulberry looks like. And then the next shade is, I'm so blind, Rosebud which looks like this in the bottle. And then we're gonna swatch her. Put the back. So there's Rosebud and there she is on my hand. Pretty good. And then this color is called Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. I'm so glad you guys. Hmm. Rough. Rough something. Rough irons. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is her in the bottle. I think she's just a little bit darker than Rosebud. And there she is, right there. And then last but not least, which is, um, this one's probably the one I'm gonna wear a lot because I like nudes, I have a problem. And I get it from Nikki Tutorials. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. I don't get it from her. She she uh, makes it worse. But I just, I like nudes. I'm, I'm like soulmates with her and Jackie Aina because I like new lips. Um, but this one is called <laughs> Mauvy. Which is kind of weird because it's not Mauvy. I would have thought, like, if they were going to name a shade Mauvy, it would probably be, like, that one. But, yeah, that's what she looks like. But if I would think Mauve, I would think, like, this one or that one, but not this. This is very nude. Or, I don't know if they named it that to be funny. But, and there you have it. That's all for uh, the Taharis. And they're gorgeous. And they actually, let me see if they're, if it's dry, y'all. Yeah, I wiped it. This one, I wiped it. Nothing came off. Nothing came off. Second one. This one is still dry, so I'm not even going to try it. But yeah, they dry down pretty fast. Um, so, I'll be trying those out. And then, I only have, I think, like, two more things left, guys. Um... My, while I'm talking about Too Faced, of course, I bought something else, Too Faced, because I have a problem. And I, I love the brand. 
and anything that I can buy to support them, I will buy. Like, I can be flat broke and, like, dang near whatever. But if I have any coinage, like any coinage, something is going to wait because I love Too Faced. And what I bought this time, because I have, like, I have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I have uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bar, Peach Palette, um, the setting spray that you saw. Um, the I have two of the blushes. Like, I love Too Faced. It's not a lie. That's the brand that I have the most of in my makeup collection. And I didn't have anything as far as lips from them. And now I do because I have the Too Faced Metallic Sparkle Lipstick. And I actually let my husband pick the color because there was a lot of colors and I know me I will go buck all crazy and I'm still you know trying to be frugal so when I'm trying to be frugal then he is like okay let me you know pick a shade because she's trying not to spend all her money buying all the shades he knows how to get down so he of course in male form I'm always dropping things in male form picked the red sparkly red which is called too too hot and so this is what she looks like out the package. I died for for this package. She's like, it is so cute. They're all so cute. And then when you lift it up, it says Too Faced. And you lift it up and it looks like that. Like, how cute is that? Who wouldn't want that in their collection? Now, did I, um, I did do it on my hand in the store, but I did not try it on my lips. So I'm gonna try it on my lips now see what she looks like when I tell you this is gliding on so smooth It glided on so smooth and it doesn't even feel like like it has glitter in here because that's why it's metallic and sparkle lipstick which is on the box there doesn't like you see it has all that sparkle I'm just gonna put some lip liner on that's very very pretty though I wanted to try it without liner first but um, you see that like it has all that sparkle in there but there, you will feel absolutely no glitter on your lips. It feels very smooth, and I feel like it's moisturizing my lips, which a lot of lipsticks, which is why like I don't buy a lot of lipsticks, because I never feel like mm, they're actually moisturizing, or like I just don't like the way they sit on my lips. So you get, you get an A plus for me and I'm not just saying that because I like Too Faced. This actually feels good on my lips and I like that. So let me grab a liner so I can line these bad boys. Um, we'll do a brow. I don't know why I like, uh, I just like lining red lipsticks with brown liner. I don't know why. It has no rhyme or reason. But, mm, I like it. Um, and lastly, because I'm getting a warning about Star's face, to top this, um, because I didn't know if it was going to be moisturizing or not. So I was like, let me get a gloss. So that, you know, if, because it's Too Faced and I'm buying it because I like Too Faced anyway. And because I just want a lip product from Too Faced. But in case this doesn't, you know, go the way we all just saw that it did smoothly. Let me get a gloss to throw on top so I could at least feel moisturized, you know, to want to wear it. So I saw this Becca Volcano Goddess 
glow gloss and this is in the color ruby flyer so the gloss has red to it and this is the box this gloss I believe is usually like twenty dollars or so a pop seven ninety nine Marshalls good looking and this is what the bottle looks like it's so pretty and so I'm gonna do this because what I intended to do anyway just so I can see how it looks um, you open it up let's see let's put a swatch I've just washed the lipstick too since we're doing it alright they're not even that far off from each other to tell the truth okay so this one right here is the um, gloss and that is the lipstick they're not even far off so that's what they look like just swatched on my hand and I see what they look like on the lip That is so cute. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I probably will try to find, even though I like using brown liners, I probably will try to find, I do have a red one somewhere. I just hate looking for it, to be honest. I probably will try to find um a red gloss. Oh my God, that is so pretty. And it feels so good. This feels good too. Like, if the lipstick had been not smooth, then yeah, this feels so good on my lips. And it looks so glossy, and I feel all like, mm, Jessica Rabbit. So, that's it for the haul. That's everything I bought. Um, from the Marshalls. This is not a sponsored video. I just love Marshalls. Uh, check them out. Um, they're a great store. They have great deals, clothes for women, men, children, sometimes pets. I like their pet section too. I might actually go back and do like a pet haul because I have my dog and my cat and they require a lot so um, I might actually when I go to get their stuff out of there just do you know a haul of that stuff let me know in the comments if that's something that you want to see or not um, let me know what you think about this lipstick and the highlighter oh my god um, I'm just you know wasted all this makeup because I'm just gonna wash it off I don't know I might just walk around the house with this red lipstick on because I'm feeling myself but um yeah let me know what you think about these products in the comments if you own these products what your experiences with them were and um basically I will see you in my next one bye